Pleasant morning to everyone. I would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone who has joined live for the state level webinar on artificial intelligence in business organized by PG Department of Commerce, Gonzaga College of Arts and Science for Women, Krishnagiri District. Before we would commence the program, I'd like to give few instructions to all the participants. Participants are kindly requested to turn off their audio and video throughout the session. Any questions to be raised to the resource person should be posted in chat box. Kindly avoid posting greetings and queries regarding feedback form in the chat box. Feedback link will be made available towards the end of the webinar. On submission of your feedback form, e-certificate will be sent to your registered email ID. Prayer. The Lord blessings through the prayer song. You are beautiful God. You are everlasting God. You are beautiful God. You are everlasting God. You made me like you. You made me like you, give me breath and life. You are the one, you are the one, you are the beautiful God. You are the one, you are the one, you are the beautiful God. Reading from the book of Bible, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart rests in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. Psalm chapter 28 verses 7. Reading from I will call upon my rescue and ensure my prayers. So my rub will not be the Lord. Thanks to be God. Thank you, friends. Sunshine is a welcome thing. It brings a lot of brightness. Like to well invite Professor P. Shanmugapriya, Head Department of Commerce, to deliver today. I'm welcome. Grandmother C. Royal Rani, FSCG, is such a wonderful guide and tireless hard worker. She is having such power, which is behind this college. Welcome you. Leadership is the capacity to transfer knowledge. Welcome. They motivate, inspire, and push each other. I would like to express my hearty welcome to our chief guest, Dr. S. Balamurgan, head and assistant professor, Government Arts and Science College, Avinasi. 
who has accepted our invitation and joined with us to spend his time to share how artificial intelligence helps in business. Welcome you, sir. Possible. Makes all things lovable and makes all things even beautiful. I am Mr. A. John Diana, FSAG, Vice Principal, who plans, supervise students' activities, guides and motivates with the disciplinary way and directors all in right path. Welcome your sister. The hard work which plays a major role in this day. Welcome my dear colleagues and students. Last but not least, I extend my earliest welcome to the various college faculties, research scholars and students who are present is highly valuable. Welcome you all. Once again, I welcome you all. Have a wonderful session. Thank you, ma'am. May I request Ms. D. Chitra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, to introduce the resource person. Good morning, everyone. I take it as golden opportunity to introduce our resource person, Dr. S. Balamurugan, Assistant Professor and Head Department of Commerce, Gunsa Government Arts and Science College, Avinashi. He is committed and modern educationist with 11 years of experience in providing visionary leadership and imparting quality education with a wider range of aspiring individuals. Acting as an IQAC coordinator, Tamil Nadu Open University, LSC coordinator in Government Arts and Science College, Abhinashi. Well versed in facilitating social and intellectual growth of students by creating an atmosphere which gives mutual respect to the students. Highly motivated dynamic and public speaker delivered sessions to more than a lack of respondents since 2012 in pursuit of excellence with the young minds and nurturing as well as fostering their development to their utmost potentials. He is an outstanding person acted as PC nominee, external examiner, academic foundation and working for the academic development of the Tamil Nadu. Also a parade artist, photographer and a traveler looking for more opportunities. Since 2017, his professional Professionally experience begins from Government Arts and Science College, educational credential, PhD in Commerce 2019, Bharatiya University, Coimbatore, net qualified in Commerce 2011, UGC, New Delhi, received certificates, personality development, cookery, first aid, etc. Special trainer of soft skill, logistics, export management, public speaking, presented papers in national and international level. 10 and 6 respectively. Address faculty of UGC, HRDC, Kumanan University. Rotary International Coimbatore Management Association, Coimbatore Productivity. Received a young faculty achievement from Venus International Foundation, Chennai. Distinguished today, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We are extremely privileged to have Dr. S. Balamurugan, Assistant Professor and Head Department of Commerce, International Business, Government Arts and Science College, Avinasi, Tamil Nadu, in our midst today. I, sir, I request you to take over the session. Yeah, thank you all, and uh, thank you, Vansika, and uh, all the team, those who organized this event, uh, the, all, all HODs and all administrative and you know, teaching and non-teaching uh, uh, people of uh, college and as well as the students, those who are the pillars uh, for, you know, every institution. Without students, it's nothing, by the way. And students and faculty members, research scholars, those who join from other colleges in, uh, uh, you know, inside Tamil Nadu and outside Tamil Nadu, thank you so much for joining. And it's highly a great privilege for me to be a part of the session by giving a small, you know, um, resource. So that is what I'm uh, here. So thank you so much, uh, Madam, 
Shanmugu Priya for inviting me. So I made my, you know, I created my session in such a way how artificial intelligence is playing a vital role, um, let's say, in uh, business. And uh, what are all the companies, you know, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I have, you know, I've read a book about artificial intelligence in practice. So uh, there, that author has given some 50 companies which are playing, uh, you know, uh, in a great level in artificial intelligence. So I took that. So this is what, uh, you know, uh, my session is all about. And I think for, since from the morning, uh, the network, you know, network for your uh, people, you know, it's not stagnant. So I do not know if I switch on the video, will it be, you know, uh, okay for you to receive? If the bandwidth is too high means, you know, I can even switch off this video and uh, I'll go on with the presentation. Madam Shanmu Priya. Ma'am, are you there? Ma'am, I will inform her. No, no, no. I'll go on with the presentation. Presentation poetry is a video for the video. I will use the video. I will play the video. So, those who joined, right? They might have been joined through telephone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many of them are joined. Yes, right, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Okay, then I'll, you know, I'll, you know, unmute the video of mine. You know, in the end of the session, then we will discuss. Now we can go through the presentation. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So uh, can you all see my presentation? See, I can yeah. to be a part of a, you know a, a, you know intellectual session which you have uh, you know organized. So thank you so much, uh, all. Our uh, session topic it is artificial intelligence in business. Uh, you know, uh, Madam has given a you know long introduction about me. I'm uh, Dr. Bala Murugan. I'm from you know I'm working in Avinashi Government Arts and Science College. I'm living in Paimuttu. So this is what today we are going to see. And about me, I'm into photography and I used to play parai, and I got some awards. You know, these are all nominated by my students, and uh, I am trying to you know uh, show my college is really big. So, I'm libraries in slime, a slum and all. So, this is what we are up to. And I used to go and give sessions, lectures, okay, in and around, and even outside India and all. So, this is what I am. These are all some of the, you know, sessions which I have done. So, okay. So this is just to give an introduction about me, okay. So, before we start this session, I just wanted to tell you, uh, see, if you sit with the mindset that you knew everything, you cannot get anything. Thing. If a filled cup, if you pour again and again, it will stop. A filled cup, if you pour again, it what my hum is or something. Okay, so let's go on. See, I most powerful weapon which you can use to change. Yes, once I was a you know dropout, but because of education, now I'm signing in greening. I'm a you know class one gazetted officer. This took place just because of education. And you are of education. See, there are n number of people outside. You know, they didn't even get the, the chance of getting into a school. But you got a chance, by the way. Uh, we even, you know, do not know about uh, what to say, uh, how COVID will be. And uh, even the faculty members and others, I'm telling. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I do not know that how this, uh, you know, work from home stuff and all will be there. But, uh, you know, now, mask is not an accessory, my dear friends. So, please wear a mask properly and be kind and help the needy people. There are n number of people outside looking for some help. So, if you can, try to help them and respect the healthcare and, uh, you know, police forces. See, and these healthcare workers, the sanitary workers, these police forces are all working for you. 
try to respect them please and we are fake news and uh, you know i have a slide about fake news i'll talk about it so be aware of fake news don't spread rumors that you know uh, uh, corona is doing that this and all please and stay home stay indoor and stay safe whenever they are asked to come for the college try right, try to come okay so don't say this stay home so as if, you know as if i stay home so told to stay home can leave father will take leave but for mother there is no leave anyway so world's hardest job is being a mom and your mom and my mom i thank and father the fathers are a different kind you know uh, father is always a father so for your father and my father a very big thanks for you know making a meet over with that's what uh, and uh, moreover they will say teachers create all professionals think that teacher is somebody you know who is sitting and teaching you in the classroom many people will give you lessons so to all those teachers of yours are taking place and uh, you know participants are you know even you know, they didn't know that what webinar they have registered you know they are being like this you know after registering don't ask for you know feedback form in between and all these are all the ground rules and babe maintain i want uh, you know some participation send it what will sir yeah okay super okay see in every session there will be two kinds of audiences in every session we used to have two types of people you know one part person who never cares whatever you say whatever you teach and you know whatever information you brought from anywhere and if you say something right who never cares he will listen and he will listen only the things which he need and he will do things only you know what he is like okay that is what and one person whatever you say it right he used to amaze oh god like that so uh, there is a tamil movie varatha parada vali patangam there will be a scene stating that oru godi oru godi and the mari so uh, he always amazed for everything so only these two kinds of people one who amaze one who never cares only these kind two kind of people will be there in any session so for these two kinds of people i am telling you we are going to start the session so come along with me okay what do you see in this picture can anyone say what this is all about world world okay okay universe sir universe. universe okay wow big sister i didn't get you total world is affected sister world is affected is sister okay okay ha uh, then then any other any other any other guess see i have uh, see uh, See, normally I have a, I have this tendency if I'm doing online and offline program, right? I used to ask questions because I wanted to know. So yes, please, please. Sir, it's all about planets. Ah, uh, this is all about planets. Okay, wow. And okay, it's all about. Okay, that is what. you know it is you know somebody told that god has created the globe and all you know uh, the universe okay but actually charles darwin told that the world or human is evolved just like this yes sir can you all see yes sir is it true so this is what charles darwin has told okay and he also told that creatures are created from you know single cell amoeba you know just like this it was, it was started see this picture clearly so human you know species are all evolved just like this
this and later they said <laughs> they entered into the computer era huh? it's not true there is a study made in africa and all and they found out that human is evolved from uh, you know uh, chimpanzees and uh, he he said that uh, you know the resemblance between uh, you know bonobo monkey and chimpanzee monkey and human for about 94 percentage of genetic resemblance that's what he told and all even even uh, you know charles darwin told that uh, women are more much powerful than men but anyway but people are accepted that human are evolved from monkey but people didn't accept that uh, women are powerful than men anyway okay that's a different story huh? so later it became like this now this is the of our enemy so that i will feel that okay we are all going for a good you know you know interactive session so any answers humans are uh, adopted to artificial life sir ah yes yes super what's your name da what's your name vinod sir okay super super you're right I agree with you really humans you. Are, uh, you know they started adapting a machine based life so this is what uh, this picture you know it's, it talks about he evolved from here and uh, you know all this neanderthal man and all came and you know he became a man and he started doing things with virtual reality augmented reality and even now smart prosthesis by using smart pro- prosthesis they are having artificial limbs and all and now it is over the whole world is going to be ruled out by robots right even the human you know you no know, sofia have you heard about sofia do anyone heard about sofia the robot sofia is giving interviews to um, you know press people so uh, you know you are move right indiran where the issue is uh, robots are given the emotions then the problem starts by the robots okay so this is what i just wanted to start with let me show you one small video and then what see now everything becomes smart okay see there is a concept called smart house okay smart house where uh, you know it is nothing but you order you know you say something whatever you are saying that will you know take place this it is jammed <laughs> okay so uh, you know uh, to make juice to switch on fire and uh, to close the door open the door and then you know based on his voice command everything will take place you see this okay then we'll discuss about it
Sorry. Yeah. Meetings ready. Calendar. No meetings today. Remember, dentist. Got it. What this you know talks about? Any idea what this advertisement is talks about? Sir, so, uh, it is automatically taken picture, sir. While uh, he told, uh, he said, uh, open the door once. It's not open, sir. Ah, yeah. Okay. Very good. The whole scene is all about it is a smart house. Okay. It is basically a smart house. So whatever the voice command which you say, that will take place. For example, he is coming and, uh, you know, he is ordering to play jazz and the jazz music is playing and uh, he is coming and ordering to make a smoothie and the smoothie is being made and uh, he is telling the fire to be off. Fire is you know switching itself, you know, switching off itself. And the you know, he's telling to open the door and the door is opening. And after he went to a you know meet the dentist and uh, did some surgery and coming and the voice is not being recognized. Okay, so it is like you know how artificial intelligence is being a part of nowadays life. So that is what uh, you know this whole uh, stuff it is all about. That is what this whole, uh, you know, advertising Alexa to play a video in YouTube. If you say Alexa to read news in times now, it will read. So it is taking place like that. See? And, uh, and this is, can you see this picture, what this is all about? Can anyone say? What is this? Um, sir, car la vandu driving. driving car la driving pannraang. Sharing a yes. That's true. Sir, automatic car driving. Sir. Ah, automatic car driving. That's what. Self-driving cars. Automated cars. See, these sort of cars are all being in, you know, introduced based on using artificial intelligence and sensory algorithms, the car will sense, you know, if some car is going in front, it will go slow. If there is no car, you know, even in front, it will go slow. And based on Google map, it will check out how the cars are going to come. And uh, complex it is nothing, but what it will do is, see, it will do, it will do, you know, you know, what are all the things which you wanted to do, any appointments you need to book, that will be done by this Google duplex. You need to on behalf of you and it will do the registration and it will do the appointment. See, he is Sundar Pichai. You know, he, you know, uh, uh, you know, in 2018, they have, you know, come up with this program. You just see how is it, it is doing the appointment, you see. As I said earlier, our vision for our system is to help you get things done. It turns users to businesses in a good way. Businesses actually rely a lot on this, but even in the US, 60% of small businesses don't have an online booking system. You have an appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens is the Google Assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're gonna hear is the Google see here he already gave a command 
so book and hair cut appointment on tuesday morning any time between 10 to 12 so google assistant duplex said no problem i make you an appointment and update you soon so the, you see the rest of the things google assistant artificial intelligence you know there is no people there you know artificial intelligence duplex google assistant itself calling to human and based on that human's reaction it is going to answer so it's something you know you see it you, you see it. um i'm looking for something on may 3rd sure give me one second mhm <laughs> sure what time are you looking for around at 12 pm We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1:15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, okay great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> you see, this is okay. but in a so small time shop you know in a you know in a restaurant it is calling and booking <coughs> you see here the message has come your appointment has been set and you see this this is hi um i'd like to reserve for wednesday the 7th for 7 people um it's for four people four people with Um, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we need to for like after like a five people, four people, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh no, it's not too busy. You 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 can come for four people, okay? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you see you see how things are like this is what taking place so google duplex this is a new technology you know it is doing things on behalf of us and this one can anyone see what is this and say what it is i you know expect more are like interactive we thought human the machines are manufacturing sir yeah cars are being manufactured by robots robots industrial robots see there is a company called fanu it is doing all this process for audi you know audi is one of the very big and giant and luxury car making company that company is using what you called fanu for making cars you see this and also better than you even in future it will be very smarter than you so that is what they are telling and this you know uh, you know uh, this production manager he is telling that you know machines are very far better than human because in uh, such temperatures you know men can't even go and work those works are even been done by machine and only thing we need to do is proper programming if you know machines will not commit any mistakes you know whatever you programmed that the machines will do the mistakes will only the wrong program has been done by human so that is what they are telling you see how cars are being made for audi
our experienced panel. Robots work long as our factory. We are constantly improving our production and install robots to reach our targets. In environments where we need to work with high pressure or temperature, the robots are up to the task to deliver quality standards, which would not be possible with a human machine. It's essentially going to be used for a too difficult where rapid machining is required. Our colleagues like working together with robots, as they make human work easy by very important to program these robots correctly. Because when problems arise, it's usually not the robot that causes them, but improper programming or the lack of maintenance. Regarding this, I'd like to highlight the fact that robots are easy to program, dependable. This is true. So this is what happened. Index robots. And this one, it is chatbot. See, uh, have you all seen this? You know, have you all seen this anywhere? Any idea of what is called chatbot? Okay, if at all you have come across any customer care services, there will be a, you know, chat system will be there. You will chat. So that is what you call as chatbot. And now smart things. I already told you smart house. And this is delivery through drone. I will show you this. You know, there is a delivery take place. Even I wait, I'll show you. Amazon's first. This is the real time delivery they tested by using yeah. drones. So how, how these drones are delivering this, you know, services that they have tested, you see. is what taking place so this is what i said artificial intelligence is all over there you know it is starting manufacturers of or let's say number one in industrial robots see that they, they are only telling that you know first you know uh, the artificial intelligence the robots you know it's like work like us they are telling and now in future it works more than us. That is what they are telling. They are making, you know, independent robots are in the, uh, even um, sculpturing. They made all these independent robots to do things in a very easier way. See, that's what, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, how the, you know, manager said, see, you, you know, it, it, you know, whatever program which you are giving it to the robot, it will do. What work is you are giving? Even uh, you know if you commit any mistake, you know if you made a mistake in program, the problem will take place. Or otherwise, the robot will never do mistake. So that's what he is telling about. See, I just wanted to tell you when and how this thing is started. Okay, this man. Have you seen this man anywhere? Anyone? Any idea who is this? No idea. Okay, then I will tell you. See, uh, this person's name is as uh, you know, smart, you know, processes. Smart processes. Okay, I'll tell you how this thing has started. See, and uh, he to you know when he was some seventeen years something like that. So he went to Mount Washington. You know, uh, for having some fun, let's say some trek. Went up to the mountain, and uh, you know they were having some fun time. And suddenly a blizzard, not so long, a middle of funny fuel, it came. As they have, you know, freezing condition, uh, they used to call it as frostbite. Frostbite, na kalla marathu porde. So it took place, and because of that, he lost, uh, you know, his two legs. Okay, so after that, uh, he, you know, he is a physicist actually in 13 in a terrorist attack. 
in that uh, you know ted talk you know you know he made her to da dance uh, you know uh, to say impulses of uh, um, leg with a you know machine and based on that it will work so even now you know what he is doing he is climbing see he is actually an engineer himself so uh, with this bionic limbs you know he is a, basically he is considered himself as a rock climber malai erudal so that is what his main you know ta task is later you know how you know this and i just wanted to tell you how you know artificial intelligence is to or catch the place in school uh, have you heard of uh, this particular technology do you know what is this can you say what you are seeing in this picture can anyone so are, are you all with me okay know the level of concentration yes to know the level of concentration of the students sir uh, ah by using this you know headband you know it is developed by a brain co a company called brain co they you know a us based company they wanted to measure uh, the child's you know uh, you know understanding or concentration capacity i will show you how it is taking place you see i got my 9 to 5 and i started selling my granny sprinkles online i thought i would have to look blue means he is not oriented so after you know the signals you know what doing that will go to the teacher's computer and from there directly it will go to student i mean parents whether the student is you know the student is attentive or not even in schools they are giving you know chip based you know uh, you know tracking kind of stuff whether the student is you know where they are moving and even based on artificial intelligence china is monitoring everyone through cctv camera based on the activities and crimes i'll show you see this students measure each student's level of concentration the information is then directly sent to the teacher's computer and to parents china has plans to become a global leader in artificial intelligence it has enabled a cashless economy where people make purchases with their faces A giant network of surveillance cameras with facial recognition helps police monitor citizens. Meanwhile, some schools offer glimpses of what the future of high-tech education in the country might look like. Classrooms have robots that analyze students' health and engagement level. Students wear uniforms with chips that track their locations. See, I told you. There are even surveillance cameras. So this is what taking place. Okay, we don't want to go it deeply, but it is like taking the freedom of students. But it is take place. It is taking place in China. Okay, education institutions are monitoring students by using artificial intelligence. And now fake news. So fake news are coming like this. I just wanted to tell you, social media more number of people engage. so there is a chance of you know inventory for ads you know in business so if you know if uh, you know if people are engaged it is a key economic success for uh, social media or uh, let's say uh, um, let's say an industrial complex okay so india is spreading more amount of uh, fake news also these are all also taking this by using this artificial and you know the so, Uh, he said, "You know, some uh, you know negative news about Pakistan, and uh, Stalin said uh, he don't want Hindu vote and all, and uh, you know about uh, you know the ex-minister S.P. Velumani and 
movie director par ranjit are all you know fake news and even there was people telling that and not even people telling i am telling you one teacher has published this in a school book also cbsc book as a you know subject you know in tamil they have fixed the syllabus you know they may you know with this stating that in journal there do even uh, you know the satellites are while crossing it is being stopped because of this magnetic force which is coming you know coming out from the people when uh, you know when i came into people asked about it and they said there is no such things happen and i entered with nasa also and they said that there is no such things are happen but this fake news is being spread out and it came in online And because of that one teacher who writing for school students keep that in a school book some in a book book is for see she thought so that much are being spreaded and for this a great example is this this you know she is a doctor you know her name is you know uh, riko muranaka and she is from you know Japan and uh, uh, there is a prize called John Medax Prize. Okay, this John Medax Prize is given for uh, doctors. Okay, so this John Medax Prize is given to you know Riko Muranaka for uh, uh, you know 2017. Uh, you know she has come up with a uh, you know a vaccine uh, for uh, you know uh, HPV that is called human papilloma virus. Okay, so. Uh, what you know what it happened is some you know parents they have spread a video that you know the kids those who uh, vaccinated this they are being you know uh, you know they are being taking vomits you know you know and all they, the the parents are started posting this videos continuously so once it took place and it is being viral you know in the you know uh, you know media and because of that people are all going against this vaccine so there is a uh, what to say misinformation you know uh, it is you know it is being acted you know it is being you know uh, created as a campaign but she stood up against this campaign and even she got uh, you know personal threats also so uh, so against this can anti cancer you know vaccine uh, that when the you know prestigious prize because of this you know uh, clicking reading viewing liking and sharing you know it becomes a very big threat by the way and later it has it is it has been you know uh, sorted out so what is my view is the uh, artificial intelligence is having a good side and as well as the negative side also so that is what uh, you know uh, i i just wanted to share you see mostly now all you know using artificial intelligence and machine learning so what it is quite common now and uh, uh, i will write uh, the author named benal mar you know he is actually an author and he is acting as an advisor for google amazon ibm and many companies and he wrote more than 20 books uh, you know in that he wrote one particular book called artificial intelligence in practice companies and i wanted to show you that these are all the companies are doing practices you know uh, artificial intelligence really in business and they have these companies are really you know top notch and they have come up so that's what i took these companies for your reference so if at all you are having any interest in going jobs to these companies so you supposed to know more about artificial intelligence okay so that is what my intention is and here the first company i just wanted to show you is this do you know who is this any anthony called you know this company is a trailblazer in using ai trailblazer means who initiates this that's what they call it as trailblazer so um you know it is a china's e-commerce company and so successful one first of all so the volume they are uh, you know doing is more high than amazon and ebay see every day they are using artificial intelligence in their services 
okay um, and even um, they are making their own product description as because they are using artificial intelligence they are the product description it is being customized by robot and it is giving more about this product than the supplier supplier ke theriyada vishayatha kuda in the artificial intelligence la in the computer enna pannudhuna eduthu podudhu online shopping la appo customers will get more information and they have started buying products so the even now the smart city projects and all uh, he came up with alibaba city brain a project name alphabet alphabet is nothing but uh, google google's whole name is alphabet okay it's a google's parent company so they are only doing this automated self driven cars i told you right see the self driving uh, uh, taxi services you know they are uh, doing it in california so they are uh, uh, they are really driving you know that driving real time for the passengers so it is nothing but you know there is a company called there is a uh, venture called deep mind so within the you know within the alphabet so they have recently purchased uh, this deep mind company and they developed an algorithm okay so it is you know what to say there is an ancient board game called goal that is also their uh, you know this uh, alphabet is being trying to play up with i already told, you know showed you on video about google duplex right booking appointments through phone these are all coming uh, through this uh, Uh, alphabet only this voice interface voice assistant uh, you know uh, uh, even the opposite person who is talking to may not know that whether it is real person or robo that sort of technology is alphabet is trying to use and you know amazon it's mostly you know all smart warehouses i showed a video that they are doing going to deliver mm, i uh, you know uh, they have come i you know with their uh, products through drone so that much of technology they have come up with the company that really thrives in uh, artificial intelligence they use it for uh, you know lot of things uh, in that main uh, you know concept is anticipate shipping so they are getting so confident about uh, understand you are going to buy that they will start shipping towards you before you even make a decision to buy it so that is what you called as anticipatory shipping see my dear friends you do not know how this world is running amazon is going very much forward and there is a system called amazon go do anyone heard about amazon go after uh, you know long time i am you know alone talking so i want answers anyone heard about amazon go no okay this is called walk out technology okay it is nothing but by using computer vision and pull multiple data and using this uh, electronic data interface, interface and uh, efficient consumer response they come up with a cashless system there will be the shop will be there but there will be no shopkeeper so they you know they start you know in 2018 they started in seattle okay uh, this is the concept by amazon and uh, as per the survey they said that customers 54 percentage of customers said excellent and 35 percentage of customers said good so that much of uh, uh, thing it has been given in this technology is called just walk out technology you need to enter into the shop you can take whatever you want and you need not to pay it you can pay through your, you know the bill will come to your phone and you can pay you see it such a great system 4 years ago we started to wonder what would shopping look like if you walk into a store grab what you want and just go What if we can weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store, so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone, 
and start shopping. It's really that simple. Take whatever you like. Anything you pick up is automatically added to your virtual cart. If you change your mind about that cupcake, just put it back. Our technology will update your virtual cart automatically. So how does it work? We used computer vision, deep learning algorithms, and sensor fusion, much like you'd find in self-driving cars. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. No lines, no checkout. No, seriously. Is the parting la? In the matter of technology, India can do a lot more. It would be good if we have, you know, if we, you know, have such technology in India. Yes? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I hope you all got tired with too much of information, it seems. Anyway. But this is what Amazon Go. It is. It came some, you know, even some three, four years back. So this is how artificial intelligence is ruling the market by using computer vision, deep sensing algorithms, just walk out to technology. And there is a, you know, a, a search engine called Beidou. This Beidou is, it's a Chinese Google. Chinese mostly use this. So uh, they, they use this artificial intelligence to, you know, clone your voice. Clone your voice. They only need a, a small slip snippet. In the Beidu, you can voice and recognize it, store it, and it will read that book for you. Not in robotic voice, in your own voice. So that's what the, you know, Beidu is all about now. And Facebook, you know, Facebook, they invested huge in artificial intelligence and machine learning, especially the late, uh, latest technology, deep learning, deep text and you know how this allows them to automatically understand not only what you are saying in fb post and what emotions sentiments and uh, the meanings behind it how you are spending based on you know sending based on that they'll send it see um, uh, how to say facebook uh, to recognize your face and by the 3d image of your face recognition more than human capability you see if somebody posted your photo in you know sir, you know in their post and it will show you somebody has posted your photo there like that so it is all taking place because of this artificial intelligence only face recognition technology and ibm you know ibm it has you know very long track of uh, using uh, artificial intelligence see uh, uh, gary gaspro a russian chick you know chess grandmaster you know, uh, by using artificial intelligence, they can even able to defeat Gary Gasparo by using chess, you know, by making the artificial intelligence to play chess. And the grand master, he is being defeated. So that is what, he, you know, they always post this, you know, men versus machine competition, uh, IBM. See, most recently they have uh, done this uh, project called Debater. Yes, it is nothing but a cognitive compute, you know, computing engine. So there is a debate between this cognitive, you know, computer engine and uh, two professional and human debaters. So what do you need to do is we need to give the topic to that machine and uh, the machine will do research and it will talk based on it. And, uh, it, you know, it was convincing the audience in such a way it is talking. And audience are voting to that, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, artificial intelligence robot and it is winning it. So that is how IBM is doing, you know, artificial intelligence and then JD.com, you know, it is also e-commerce firm in China. Uh, the founder name is Richard Lin. 
you know uh, he wanted you know he is telling that he wanted to make his company 100% automated 100% automated ah manushangale vendam abingirathu ivaru so their, their warehouses has no staff and it is completely automated and they are looking for uh, you know they are working on drone drone deliveries for the last 4 years see amazon is you know up to doing it but in china jd.com is all and they wanted to offer their services to their clients but uh, you know they believe you know uh, they believe that this will be the future so you know while using the spell checkers and using recommended tools for example they wanted microsoft to be used by uh, to be used with the help of artificial intelligence and there is a company called tencent you know uh, it is like this tencent like you know like you know probably whatsapp fb twitter and all other platforms are combined in one and uh, uh, it understand the huge amount of information and it will give the insight you know about you know what it is you know going on the customers and uh, based on this they started to integrate all other things uh, you know, even pay process we chat pay based on that only um, uh, this uh, whatsapp has you know we started giving this payment whatsapp payment has arrived even bikes automated bikes automated cars smart things drones personal assistants these are all being done by this tencent so these are all top companies in the world they are following artificial intelligence in regular so these companies are major companies if these uh, in uh, you know uh, in 2004 only this avanoma has come and then uh, this docsper is like uh, healthcare uh, startup so they will you know we can pull out this healthcare data and uh, we can interlink whether you know this medicine is safe or what and nirma is uh, you know uh, it is for uh, uh, mammogram is you know checking up you know with the breast screening for whether you know the, the breast cancer are there for that they have come up with this and uh, logi next is you know uh, they are the leaders in giving you know logistics you know uh, interface a single map interface which they are uh, giving it login x you know real time tracking all these details can be done a locus also the same in logistics um, only they are using road planning optimizing a real time you know how you know in where the vehicle is coming inventory optimization supply chain solution and all being given by this locus and this rubik cube is also uh, finance predictability you know stuff so credit requirement it pro- it provides uh, solutions for uh, entire lending spectrum and even uh, lending card is also the same uh, they provide loan for uh, small firms so they are using big data to analyze whether that particular person is credit worthy or not and then cropin is a company it is it's a bangalore based startup actually so it is a farming application so they gather you know data based on farming you know what they are farming what they need to do it's an efficient you know operation so they wanted to give this future ready farming solutions and trends live reports and geographical analysis are all being given here and next is uh, you know nikki you for uh, artificial intelligence in future so this in technology it is nothing but uh, a system of you know recording information Uh, you know this system cannot be even hacked and changed so it can make point to so this system cannot be you know let's say hacked or uh, uh, yeah, you know change nothing can be done and then this is called quantum computing technology uh, this, this collect you know properties of you know quantum of states so that is what and this is 5g you know it's so mobile you know network you know uh, uh, going through a speed network and uh, internet of things this is the system interrelated and how it is interconnected that one and cyber security because these are all these much of things are coming so there is a chance of problem also so uh, in the city the hackers 
they turn out the power of the entire city. Just hackers are powerful. It took place. Users can control uh, nothing but it is uh, distributed ledger, artificial intelligence, and extended reality and quantum computing. These are all being joined together. So it's a combination of technology. And as a service, see, it is nothing but anything as a service. That's what the, they say. And automation, uh, it, you know, it enables the plants and system uh, to run automatically. And uh, number one, that is artificial intelligence, I told. It's a simulation of human intelligence in machines. So these are all the technologies are going to rule the world. But one thing we need to talk also. See, this is a movie called... Uh, have you seen this movie? Do Can anyone say what movie is this? Before Enderan, they took this movie. This movie's name is iRobo. The same concept is being used in this... Uh, uh, Endiran movie anyway, but here the problem is machines were given up with emotions. Machines were given emotions because of that how the mankind is facing the problem. The same only we are given here. Okay, so we are going to artificial intelligence. Uh, we are giving importance to machine because of that we will face problem like trust deficit. We will not have trust and, you know, we human might have limited knowledge and human level and importance for women, you know, human may get reduced, human may, you know, uh, even they're told to go out of companies, data privacy, security, data scarcity, so things will take place. There is a chance for this also. So that's what, uh, you know, my final conclusion. So even though artificial intelligence is having these much of things and uh, it is having importance like this, we have problems like this also. So anyway, every coin will have two sides. So with this note, I just wanted to end up my session. So thank you so much. See, this is a story. I, I think... Uh, we have no time for it. I already exceeded 30 minutes. So, uh, there are better starters than me, but I'm a strong finisher, which is, which is told by Hussein Bolt. The same sentence I'm also telling that I do not know whether I started better, whether I'm finishing better. So, thank you so much. Nandri Marapada Nandri 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 Lada Andre Marapada Nandri. It is told by Thiruvalluvar. He told that, see, if something good is, and the people are working outside. I already told you the sanitary workers, the delivery boys, doctors, nurses, police forces are all working for you. So try to respect them and thank them, you know, as well as you can. So thank you. And this is my mail ID and number. And if at all you have any query or you wanted to give me any suggestions, you can give. So thank you. Over to you. Over to the MOC team. Thank you, sir, for enlightening us by giving your valuable input and insight from the artificial intelligence industry. That, that was a mind doing session. Dear participants, if you have any questions, please unmute yourself and ask. Or you, uh, you can post your questions in the chat box. Sir, happy afternoon. Sir, the session yeah, really please. it Hello. is. Uh, yeah, it uh, the really. The, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm uh, in an office. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. I'm Sister Dina. I'm Sister Dina, faculty okay. member of uh, Commerce Department. No, no, no. I uh, see you on the video. Just a mask. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, proceed, you, proceed, you, proceed. Sir. Uh, sir, uh, the session really, it was a mind-blowing session. Um, wow. It's amazing information mm -hmm. that we received really. Uh, the youngsters, uh, I wow. myself, I uh, uh, hope that all the youngsters enjoying your uh, lively presence. It's a, really, it is a very good, sir. Um, if, it is, if it could be lively, if it could be lively, I could have do more justice, by the way. <laughs> anyway. 
So thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, sir, already uh, in India, that we uh, we don't have employment, right? So everybody is educated, being educated. Uh, there is no employment at all. But uh, we we are also uh, AI is uh, growing very fast. A robotic. Uh, so what could be the future in your opinion, sir? So you have a, a variety of knowledge, a wide range of knowledge. What could be uh, the future of uh, Tamil Nadu or India, sir, in future after ten years, like? Hmm, that's what you know, I, I I I gave this ten technologies, right? This blockchain, quantum computing, and all. These are all the technologies which are going to rule the world. And I already told that ten companies which I you know showed you, right? This uh, companies, you know, Alibaba, Alphabet, and all. These companies, yes. even Amazon, they are already started using it. See, there is a shop I showed you, right? Amazon Go. Yes, sir. Did you see yes, that sir. video, ma'am? Amazon yes, Go. Yes. It just started yeah, yeah. some four years before. Yes, some yes. four years before itself, it has come. But uh, yes, we are only now we are talking this. Somehow we got a chance, you know, to conduct a state level seminar. So somehow, you know, I'm trying to post something in front of you guys all that this is really taking place. We are not even, you know, uh, what to say because. See, our surroundings are not even like that. So we are, you know, we are not even used to it. So we didn't know things, but things are all taking place that are, you know, far better and far more better than us. See, that's what I told the sentence when I was starting this session. See, first they were all telling uh, that computers are robots. They started to act like, you know, human. But now they are telling that. The computer in future, the computers or uh, the robots will act much smarter than men. They are telling. Yeah. Yeah. So th yes. that is what in the end, you know, in the final slide, I I I, I showed you the problems. See if uh, you know computers and the robots started. See, I'm in Coimbatore. There is a restaurant. Okay, ma'am. There, the yeah. food will be delivered by robot. Hmm. Robots are delivering food. You know, supplying food. This, you know, the so these kind of things are taking place. So we need to adapt ourselves because no other go for us. So we need to, you know, highly adapt to this thing. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So be a business. Be a business. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So how it is? It is a question. Uh, being a commerce or uh, graduates who creates the employment and maybe it is a question mark to the human being towards uh, in regard with the employment i hope so of course. of course it's a very big question mark you know right if computers are started ruling us where we will we go but uh, the, the the experts they are telling that see even though the computers are started ruling but these programs are all being done by humans so for that humans are needed they were telling but i do not know how far it will work out you see you are giving emotion see sofia there is a you know robot sofia it is giving interviews and the journalist is directly asking question to the robot and uh, you know uh, she is you know i mean not she let's say the robot sofia you know she is answering uh, you know that such a you know that much of sensory emotional stuffs are being stuffed in the you know in the machine so things may go awkward also there is a chance for you know going you know see every coin will have two sides i already told so it may go negative also yes definitely sir yes, sir. yes. thank you sir thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you thank you sir. any other Or even you can give me your feedback. 
sir can artificial intelligence be dangerous uh, <laughs> artificial intelligence may be dangerous who knows it see it may be act like a natural calamity here you see if you give you know if you give emotions to the robots then you do not know what the robots will think right i cannot say that what you will be think you know later on after 10 minutes so it's a hypothetical question <laughs> we may not know what will happen but in the movie and all they showed you know they showed that uh, it will be a dangerous stuff and uh, even i uh, this may even create a problem you know uh, but the, the importance for uh, um, human may get reduced chance for it yes any other question or feedback sir sir yeah hello um sir if there was no hello, artificial hi. intelligence a uh, hi sir sir actually my question is if uh, there yeah, was no it. artificial intelligent in our life then how our life would have been no it is already has come <laughs> uh now i'm telling you see i'm this i am using this alexa and all okay you know if i wanted to see a web series in netflix what i am doing is uh, i am just opening the remote and telling alexa to play it i am not typing myself to play it you know in the you know uh, netflix because we are all become um, it, it, i may not say it is lazy but we become addicted to this technology also that is the problem right and uh, now online banking you see online banking we are all started using online banking let's say more than one year let's say uh, i have been to bank before uh, before a year only and even if i wanted checkbook if i wanted to you know apply for a new uh, debit card or even whatever i didn't go to bank i am using all this online banking stuff only i have uh, this you know nokia cell phone you know double on double zero for only using it for phone and message there is no use at all if you do not be there in whatsapp then people will ask you whatsapp you are you are not uh, having whatsapp so whatsapp is needed you can't deny it so just like that the technologies are coming and uh, you see uh, i i told right uh, this jd.com that uh, chinese uh, you know the e-commerce player he is telling that he wanted his company to be automated 100% and he found that that technology is very good and it is not making any mistakes but even dabba walas bombay dabba walas they are delivering food to people you know uh, you know they are teaching this six sigma and, and all without error they are doing but even um, people are uh, being okay with uh, artificial intelligence it is a new technology and it will go on like this only then thank Next. you sir ah thank you attitude thank is a bad prayer that anyone could say thank you express this extreme gratitude humility and understanding now i invite ekmadi assistant professor department of commerce to deliver a word of thanks good afternoon everyone i am ms indumadi assistant professor department of commerce and i am here to present the word of thanks for today's webinar let me first of all start by giving glory to the almighty god for making today's occasion a resounding success i feel delightful to thank our secretary reverend mother c noel rani 
FSAG, her kindness, her interest, her hospitality and continued support. Thank you, Mother. My heartfelt thanks to our Principal Reverend Dr. E. Glita Sumangali, FSAG, the dynamic and a flexible person in all academic matters gracing this occasion. Thank you, Sister. I express my deep gratitude to our respected Vice Principal, Reverend Sister A. John Diana, FSAG, for guidance to us in all our our activities ensure that we always do the right thing in the right way. Thank you, Sister. I extend my gratitude to our honorable guest, webinar speaker,